Pancreatitis. Pancreatitis simply means inflammation of the pancreas. Acute pancreatitis is one of the causes of acute abdomen and a reason for patients presenting to emergency departments. Acute pancreatitis refers to rather sudden inflammation of the pancreas, which is accompanied by abdominal pain and elevations of serum pancreatic enzymes. Acute pancreatitis arises suddenly and may be very severe, although patients frequently recover from an acute onset. Chronic pancreatitis is a rather slow process. The incidence of acute pancreatitis varies widely in populations, with about 1 to 5 cases per 10,000 people per year. The variation is largely because of alcohol consumption habits of the populations. 80% of the cases of acute pancreatitis are related to alcohol abuse or biliary stones, heavy alcohol consumption being the most common cause. Anatomy. The pancreas is a glandular organ which is located in the upper abdomen behind the stomach. Anatomically, the pancreas is divided into three parts, head, body, and tail. The head is located adjacent to the duodenum and the tail extends to the hilum of the spleen. With the exception of the tail, pancreas is a retroperitoneal organ and is located in the epigastrium and left hypochondrium regions. Physiology. It is important to note that the pancreas performs both endocrine and exocrine functions. An endocrine gland secretes its products, for example hormones, directly into the blood. An example of an endocrine gland is the adrenal gland, which secretes adrenaline made in the adrenal medulla directly into the blood. An exocrine gland secretes its products, for example enzymes, into the ducts that lead to the target tissue. For example, the salivary gland secretes saliva into the collecting duct, which leads to the mouth. Pancreas releases insulin and glucagon directly into the blood, which is an endocrine function, and it also secretes pancreatic fluid into the pancreatic duct, which eventually ends up in the duodenum, which helps with the digestion and is an exocrine function. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas, which regulates the amount of glucose in the blood. The insulin is released into the bloodstream as a result of food intake, where it helps move glucose into cells to be used as energy. Insulin is also responsible for storing excess glucose, mainly into the liver and muscles in the form of glycogen. The lack of insulin is the primary cause of type 1 diabetes. Glucagon, which is another hormone produced by the pancreas, which is released in response to low blood glucose levels. Glucagon causes liver to convert stored glycogen into glucose, which is then released into the blood. The effect of glucagon is the opposite of the effect induced by insulin. The two hormones work together to keep blood glucose levels balanced. Etiology The most common cause of acute pancreatitis is alcohol consumption. Gallstones come next. Other causes include idiopathic hypertriglyceridemia, drug-induced post-ERCP, which is an endoscopic and radiologic procedure, viral and bacterial infections, parasitic infections, trauma, smoking, congenital anomalies, toxins, scorpion bites for example, hemodialysis, and hypercalcemia. Pathophysiology. The pathophysiology of pancreatitis includes destruction of the pancreatic cells and systematic inflammatory response. Premature activation of trypsinogen to trypsin is the stimulating event. It happens within the acinar cells. Trypsinogen is an inactive substance which is also secreted by the pancreas from which the digestive enzyme trypsin is formed in the duodenum. It becomes pustulated, which can be caused by calcium homeostasis and elevated pressure within the pancreatic duct. Pustules are small bumps on the surface that contain fluid or pus. Calcium homeostasis refers to the regulation of the concentration of calcium ions in the extracellular fluid. Calcium transportation is an ATP-dependent process. One theory suggests that many of the toxins which are responsible for pancreatitis result in ATP depletion, which increases the level of intraastinar calcium concentration, which in turn stimulates early activation of trypsinogen. Trypsinogen becomes trypsin, resulting in activation of many enzymes, for example, elastase and phospholipase. Early activation of these enzymes leads to localized tissue damage. 
causes accumulation of neutrophils and initiation of inflammatory process. The inflammatory process can lead to increased capillary permeability and damage to the endothelium with microvascular thrombosis.